In this video, we're going to talk about uh, developer handoff best practices in Figma. So say that uh, you are at the very end of the project uh, and uh, you are ready to hand off uh, the Figma file to the developers to work on so that they can uh, bring your ideas to life. Now, there's a few different things that uh, you have uh, to keep in mind. Uh, and uh, let's uh, get started with uh, the main building blocks because uh, each and every one of uh, these items uh, and screens uh, are going to have uh, these building blocks. So we're going to start uh, by going here on uh, this page and you simply need to follow along. There's no need to access this file. By the way, this is a UI kit which I found on uh, UI8 called the crate so if you're interested definitely check it out as it's a really well done ui kit but nonetheless let's start with the building blocks which is the developers are going to need to have access to the colors which they can easily do by simply going on dev mode and for the most part whenever there is a specific color like in this case they're going to find it right here the same is going to be true for the typography. So for the most part, uh, they are set. Now, one thing to keep in mind regarding the typography is uh, if uh, you are not uh, using uh, a free font, which is uh, readily available on the internet, uh, such as a Google web font, uh, which this is the case. And by the way, I highly recommend you to consider using a solution such as a Google web font since they can be downloaded for free and they're optimized for the web. If that's not the case, you're going to need to send over the fonts to the developers. That's the first thing to consider. Also be aware about all the licensing which might be involved with that. Apart from that, the other area which you definitely want to keep an eye on apart from the fonts is the iconography. Now, most of the times uh, you want to use uh, a library for a single project so that uh, you can have uh, a consistent library of icons for that project. Now, in most cases, uh, these uh, icon libraries are available on the internet. So I would actually send it directly the link uh, to the developers to access uh, those icon libraries, especially since uh, there's going to be occasions where they can implement the icons that you used in Figma, but in a very efficient way using a CDN. So although you can absolutely uh, just simply go over here and uh, either export the icon yourself directly from here, which you want to do in SVG format since it's a scalable vector format, you want to try and avoid PNG and JPEG for the most part because Icons can be stretched uh, and uh, they're going to be more heavy and uh, less uh, and uh, of course not scalable like an SVG. So that's another thing to keep in mind. But nonetheless, uh, even, if, even though you can export the icons, I would still reference the developers to the original uh, icon set uh, which you use. So that's uh, that uh, when it comes to the icons and uh, reads and spacing. Uh, I think for the very most part, uh, it's going to be easy for them uh, since they can easily see all of uh, the spacing in uh, the new dev mode, which uh, we already explored in uh, a previous video. And then when it comes to the images, uh, those type of elements, uh, again, they can export them themselves, but uh, I would actually take a step uh, further and uh, go through the entire page uh, if this for example is the page that you want to for them to uh, to work on <clears throat> and uh, i would actually export uh, all the assets uh, myself uh, and then send them over to them in a folder now this is uh, really appreciated by most developers and uh, it's going to be something that uh, is not only going to allow them to save time but you can also export uh, and uh, check uh, the quality of the export. So say that you're exporting a JPEG or a PNG image, you're going to have access to that image so you can easily just uh, be sure that uh, the quality is good. Now, another thing which is uh, very important 
on the web uh, is uh, not only the quality of the image, but optimizing the image uh, to make it uh, load faster. So you, by default, uh, unfortunately, Figma exports images uh, at a very high resolution with uh, a very high uh, file size. Uh, that is the, the key element. And uh, unfortunately, that is not a great practice for creating a website. So what you want to do is uh, to actually use uh, a website like this one. There's tons of tools. There's tons of uh, uh, you know uh, plugins and add-ons that enable you to download an image and uh, basically um, optimize it. But the great thing about uh, this one here is that, for example, we're going to use this uh, sample image, and uh, as you're going to see, I have a few options. The very first one is uh, actually the method, uh, I wouldn't really touch it. Uh, what I would uh, definitely touch is uh, this section right here, which is uh, the file format. So usually I would go with uh, WebP since uh, it's a very lightweight, uh, um, a very lightweight format for the web. So this is going to help you achieve an image which uh, doesn't weigh uh, much. And uh, as you can see, this image is very big. Most of the times, uh, if uh, it's uh, not a full width image, you're probably going to be good with a size between 1000 to 500 pixels on the higher end of, of the scale. So you can easily change this value. And as you can see, we reduced the uh, the image size uh, by 99%. Now this is going to be significant since uh, it's uh, going to basically change uh, the amount of load time of a web page. And as you can see, the difference is not uh, really that uh, visible. And uh, this is going to save a lot of time uh, and uh, improve the website performance by a lot. And uh, especially if you consider all the images that you might add on a, a page, it all adds up and uh, it's going to basically make uh, the loading speed uh, much higher. So that's, that's that uh, when it comes to the main uh, building blocks. And again, I think that nowadays, uh, a lot of the work is already done uh, for us uh, by dev mode. So really props to the team at Figma for integrating uh, this uh, new addition, which is going to enable us to work more efficiently as well as uh, our developers counterparts. So this is uh, the key things that you have to keep in mind and uh, keep uh, moving forward with uh, the very next video.